Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. Where did we last leave off? Right, the whole face eating thing. Luckily, we solved it. Wasn't there enemies through here? Yes, there are. Well, let's go say hi. Come on. Gun? Shit. That's not good. Um. Well. Might as well equip the, uh. Bulletproof vest. And. Uh, it'd be smart. It'd be smart to, uh, shoot it. But I'm a reckless bastard. I'm sure she can't get another shot off. Hand solo shot first, bitch. Okay. Where are we going? Anywhere that's open, I guess. You know, in any other game, that would be disturbing. Start time is my key. Not your average mom tattoo, but okay. Background, unknown. Name and age, unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed choroid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was a cause of neck wound. <laughs> Maybe. Possible suicide, but wound angle seems suspicious. Sent to second floor for treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of an event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police, however, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact, room M4. Now, <coughs> oh, well, I guess we know where we're heading. Natural. Okay, I hope I didn't see that move. I'm gonna assume it's my imagination. Then again, this is Silent Hill. Elevator, I'm going to save here just to be safe. This M4? Yes. Okay. Oh shit, it's this thing again. <sighs> there was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand, I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. <clears throat> I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what a tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. What image? I'm expecting a stick figure here. Hey, that's creepy, but... God damn it, Heather, take the doll! I want another boss fight on my hands. I'll check that out in a second. The attache case is locked. Joy.
Hmm. Perhaps the time is the code of the briefcase, the starting time is my key or whatever. Unfortunately, I haven't used an analog watch in years. Crap. I have one, I just don't use it. Uh, let's see. This would be 9... 16, maybe? Okay, let's try 9, 16. Nine sixteen. Hmm. Maybe not. Which is that? Hmm. <laughs> that doll is kind of unnerving. Then again, we know, uh, what this Stanley guy is capable of. Eye plunging, cheek eating, tongue shredding. Oh yeah, great guy. Alright, so... I'm assuming that's 16 and not... You know. It's not near the hour, so it's 9. Military time. Let's see, how do you convert to military time? I think you add 12. Oh, yay. Lucky well, guess, but hey. Nothing else interesting. It's the attache case of. The guy on the stretcher back there. Also seemingly the roommate of Stanley Coleman. Sucks to be him. Why do we need an instant camera though? Alright then, staying out of there. Or well, I could take them out just to see what's in there. Hey, you guys won't stop bitching about me not using guns, so why not? Get up. I should kick you. Bad move. Oh shit, you're not dead yet. Come here, bitch, I'll cut you. That's what I thought. Now, anything worth uh, getting in here? A med kit. Really? How many shots did I waste? Mm. That's still 27. It's worth it. Probably should use the uh, katana, but hey. Can't please everybody, right? Alright. And locked. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's check. Lucky floor number three. Why not? Hm, probably a good thing. Alright, so that's every room in here. Hmm. The day room. Let's check that out. I mean, what harm could it do? Ah, good. This hall was empty. Why am I hearing breathing? Oh, shit. Alright, let's check... the store... the stairs... 
and that doesn't work on Mad Dash for the elevator. 